what is a mineral? Well, mineral is something that comes from the earth. But when we hear that, when we know it comes from the earth, we instantly think of rocks. But I'm talking about a different kind of mineral. And this mineral is a kind of nutrient. And a nutrient is a chemical that your body needs in order to live and to grow. We could not survive without nutrients. So a mineral is something that helps our bodies. But wait, does this mean you should go out to eat rocks to get minerals that your body needs in order to survive? No. No, it does not mean that at all. Please do not do that. Big disclaimer here, do not eat rocks. Minerals are found in food. Common types of minerals that our body needs are iron, potassium, calcium, and zinc. Iron takes oxygen from the air we breathe into all parts of our body. Obviously we need air to breathe, but every single inch of your body or every single centimeter of your body requires oxygen. So we need iron to move that oxygen to where it needs to go. You can get iron from meats, seafood, beans, eggs, green leafy vegetables, and whole grains. Next we have potassium, and potassium is good for your heart, your muscles, and your blood. I said that kind of creepy, just blood not blood. Potassium is in a lot of fruits and vegetables like bananas, sweet potatoes, when you eat it with the skin on it, green vegetables, oranges, tomatoes, beans, peas, lentils, and some milk and yogurt. Calcium is next and calcium is all about your bones. And without bones in our body, we would just be like a blob of jello on the floor. Our bones help us to sit up straight or to stand and it gives our body structure. We need healthy, strong bones for our whole life. Mostly we hear that we get calcium through dairy products. Dairy products are anything that comes from a cow, so milk, cheese, yogurt, butter. But a lot of people actually can't tolerate dairy. That means they get a really upset stomach. So fortunately you can find calcium in many other foods. There's a lot of calcium in green leafy vegetables, fish, and sometimes calcium is added to things like soy milk or to orange juice. And finally we have zinc and zinc is what helps our body to fight off sicknesses and heal our bodies when we have a cut. So zinc is found in beef, pork, peas, beans, lentils, and some dairy products have a lot of zinc. All right, here's the deal. We need nutrients in order to live and grow. Minerals are a type of nutrient along with vitamins, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and water. The deal is that you need to make sure you're getting all of your nutrients, all your vitamins and minerals now when you're a kid. Science says that kids who eat a lot of nutrients grow up to be a lot healthier than kids who don't get a lot of those nutrients. My whole intention here is to teach you to make the best choices for yourself right now so your future is so happy and so healthy. I want to empower you to make the best choices in your life so that you'll feel great right now, but also in the future. Today's star food is lentils. We're lentils. We're little, but we are mighty, right? Right? Yeah. We are good for your heart and for your stomach, and we actually have lots of protein and minerals, and, and we're really good for your body because we help it to be its best. And if you don't eat meat, you will love us. Hey, even if you do eat meat, you'll love us. <laughs> Bye. Lentils are really great in curries, in soups, or I like to mix them in with some tomato sauce and put it on top of pasta instead of eating it with red meat. I'm Colleen and I'm here to help you make happier and healthier choices right now and for yourself in the future. See you next time. Sending you peace, love, and happiness. Bye.